Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, California Weather Watch. Today is July 29th, and right now we are looking at the visible satellite imagery. Let's go ahead and roll all the way back towards yesterday, and you can see pretty extensive marine layer for some of the coastal areas, except for areas of Southern California where some nice sunshine uh, yesterday morning. We scroll through the day, you can see the folk being, uh, smoke being produced, and take a look at this. I mean, this just looks like a huge scar out there. Look at the park fire, just a massive thing. There's also the boreal and the trout fire producing some smoke down there across the Southern Sierra Nevada. And if we scroll through the overnight hour, uh, you can see that we come about this morning and there's still a good deal of smoke out there but that is for places off to the east mainly a lot of the coastal areas are not dealing with smoke at least not yet then we scroll to where we are right now and you can kind of see the mixed bag of marine layer up and down the coastline so taking a look at the park fire again 360,000 acres there's a borel and the trout fire here as well so not doing too bad overall relatively speaking other than the park fire which is one of the top 10 fires all time for the state of California now if we look Look at the high resolution rapid refresh this is eight meter ground smoke density this is what you would be smelling at the surface and you can see there's actually looks like there's some kind of a fire here across some of the peninsula range here as well but you can see it's still producing a pretty fair amount of smoke here as we go through tonight and into tomorrow and you can see it flare up during the afternoon and evening hours as well so if we take a look here at the tropical weather outlook, I'll be showing this in the precipitable water. And of course, we look at this off and on as we go through the summer months. And if things get active and they start to look like they're going to move up to Southern California, you'll hear it first on this channel. So yeah, interesting yeah, look at things here. You can see a 30% chance of tropical cyclone formation here in the next 48 hours. And this one could. They're not really too bullish about that one, however. And if we take a look at this, the European on the left versus GFS on the right. This is precipitable water. There's the Hawaiian Islands to the bottom left of these maps there's california right there and this is the area they put the zero percent chance on right here and then you can see this next system you can see it develop on both the gfs and the european model there but you'll notice it's not a threat to the southwest usa it does do a little bit of a jog up to the north and west here but it stays out over the open ocean then another system develops on the back side of that that one looks like it would become a hurricane out there but again we're not looking at a threat to the state of california or the southwest usa as of right now so do, do not take what you hear on social Social media posts about the potential for a tropical system hitting California. Uh, the odds are that it's not going to happen anytime soon. Taking a look at thunderstorm chances here for Arizona. You can see Phoenix is right here. Localized heavy rainfall, some patchy blowing dust, and all storms contain deadly lightning. Um, uh, if you want a nice affordable home weather station, this thing has a lightning detection system of its own at your own house. It tells you when it happened and how far away the lightning strikes were. It builds its own forecast for you. You can graph all this data, stores it all for you in the cloud. Click on that link down below if you want to save 10% off. So what is to come, you ask? Well, we're going to start to warm things up here across much of the southwest, and you'll see why as I scroll through at 500 millibars or 18,000 feet. This gives us a great visual representation of what's going on in the atmosphere above us. Look at this ridge, just really going to dominate uh, the western USA and some of the central USA also as we go on in towards this weekend coming up here. You can see why we're going to be warming up. You can all see that tropical system down there as well. This would be about Saturday night. Take a look at composite reflectivity. Not not much to show you here. There is a system swinging through the Pacific Northwest. It could bring a few light showers to extreme Northern California and maybe extreme Northern Nevada as we go on in through tomorrow morning, but not much to write home about here as we scroll out towards Wednesday afternoon. As you can see, any thunderstorm activity right now is going to be out across Arizona and not making it towards California. However, that will change a little bit here and I'll show you that as we go through the video. And I also like to show this as well. This is last night's European. You can kind of see a wider view of things here, the intertropical convergence zone. You see how much more moisture is down there across the tropics. You see the little small scale gravity waves moving about and you can see the actual tropical cyclone development here off the north side of the intertropical convergence zone. And if we look at the next slide as well, you'll, you'll see that you can actually see the monsoon, the diurnal cycle of the monsoon here across the southwest portion of the USA. So what I want to show you here is we go on through Tuesday afternoon there. We start to go through Wednesday afternoon. And you can see some of that monsoon moisture pushing off to the northwest a little bit. Might include some of the California desert here in western Arizona. We start to squall off into through Thursday. And you see that moves even a little bit further off to the northwest as well. So we do have that potential for bringing some of that monsoon moisture here as we go again through Wednesday and through Thursday afternoon. We'll be watching that over the next couple of days. Taking a look at total precipitation in inches. We're not looking at too much here. Um, and notice this, for 
for a lot of areas of California outside of that monsoon moisture, maybe some of the higher terrain, they're picking up some of that precipitation. So that will give an above average bump there for some areas, but you can see the tropical systems mainly stay out over the open ocean for now anyway. And that could be changing as we go through the summer though. Now taking a look at daily two meter max temperature, you can kind of see definitely cooler than we have been for most of the month of July. And if I scroll through this, you'll see there's tomorrow, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you see these temperatures increasing. You see a lot of hundreds, uh, 100 plus temperatures there across all the valley areas. The deserts warm it up. And of course, a little oasis here is along the coastal areas where a lot of people live. In fact, the majority of people live. And we go through Saturday, Sunday, Monday. You can see the temperatures continuing to ramp up here as this ridge is going to dominate much of the west coast of North America. Tuesday, Wednesday, following week, you can see the heat is scheduled to persist. Look at the 6 to 10 day, of course, that ridge is going to be dominating the weather here. No surprise there with the above average signal. And that is for that monsoon moisture trying to push off to the north and west here. So some areas could get some above average precipitation out of that. And we'll see how that trends. Maybe it'll move its way out a little bit further towards the coastal areas here or some of the coastal ranges as well. You never know right now, but we'll be watching that again tomorrow and we'll break it all down. Fire danger, nothing too crazy right now, but we do have moderate risk here across the areas that are in tan. And we have lower risk and little to no risk across areas that are in green and uh, one more look at the park fire this thing is just it's a, it's a thing of nightmares i mean look at that burn scar and you can see the active fires here on the eastern flank there and kind of the northeast flank as we went through the day yesterday it's still producing quite a bit of smoke and it's still continuing to burn and this may be a problem up through the you know the next several weeks or so you know these things can persist and you can see the overnight hours in the goes 18 satellite imagery it shows that hot spot of the fire burning overnight then we come out towards this morning and you can see all the smoke it's producing here but anyway yeah we will break it all down again tomorrow and just a reminder it is free to click on that subscribe button if you want to monetarily support the channel click that join button down below the channel's doing great here can't wait for the later summer when we start getting some more tropical moisture up here and we start getting some systems back in here and things get more active but otherwise we will do this all again tomorrow hope you guys are having a good day and i will talk to you guys then